So here we have a Eupogebia or mud shrimp, Yaquina Bay, Oregon. I want to show you this parasite that lives underneath of it. It's called an isopod. It sucks the blood out of this thing. Look at how nasty this is. These are from Japan. Normally I wouldn't touch it, but this is for educational purposes. They're invasive species from Japan and they take host on these mud shrimp or eupogebia and slowly suck their blood until they die. Don't worry shrimp, we're gonna get this parasite out of you right now. Two parasites on you. Okay, let's put you back in the water. This shrimp has a huge blood-sucking parasite attached to its abdomen. Look at that. Disgusting. This is two parasites. Oh my gosh, what the heck just squirted? That something, something just squirted right out of this hole. That was crazy. We've got this nasty parasite. We're gonna get rid of it, and we're gonna release this shrimp right back in the water. Yo, be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. We have two mud shrimp here. Hey, don't pinch your friends. One is affected by a blood-sucking parasite. Can you guess which one is and which one isn't? And you just pull it right out. This is Martha, a Eupogebia shrimp whose life is being taken over by this isopod parasite known as Ortheone griffinus. Today we're removing the isopod and setting Martha free so that she can have a second chance at a healthy life. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. This is Larry, a shrimp with an invasive blood-sucking parasite living under his skin. Imagine if one of these freaks of nature attached themselves to you. I hope you're feeling better now, Larry. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Gary is infected with an isopod parasite. Don't worry, Gary. I'll help you. First, we're going to take the parasite out, provide Gary with some relief, then we're going to set Gary free. Look, he's got his energy back. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I get asked a lot what I do with the invasive parasite once it's removed from a shrimp. There's a couple things we can do. We can donate them to scientific research labs to help solve this invasive parasite issue or turn them into plant compost. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I'm commonly asked if it hurts the shrimp to have a parasite removed. The answer is no. When done properly, the shrimp's gill flap is carefully lifted and the invasive parasite is safely removed. It may cause discomfort, but it gives the shrimp a chance at a healthy life. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Karen stopped by my office today complaining about a side pain. Upon closer observation, I noticed that she had two parasites living on her gills. A small white male attached to a large pink female. Don't worry, Karen. You'll be feeling better soon. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Definitely don't want to watch this while you're eating, but here is your weekly dose of shrimp parasite removal. This is an invasive parasite, does not belong in this part of the world, definitely not on this shrimp, so we're taking it out. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Tammy the shrimp came to my office complaining, I can't get pregnant. Well, Tammy, it seems to be because you have a blood-sucking parasite attached to your gills. Let's take that off. Thanks, Jake. You're welcome. Now go save your species, and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Three reasons for shrimp parasite removal videos. One, it's always satisfying to help an animal in need. Two, to raise awareness of invasive species issues. And three, we're building a community of people who care about the ocean. So if that's you, then hit that follow button. I reached my hand into a deep dark hole and discovered a shrimp infected with an invasive parasite. I quickly began rescuing the defenseless Eupogebia from the savage isopods. I turned the parasite into plant compost and free noodles. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. By popular demand, shrimp parasite removals. This shrimp is not affected by a parasite, but this one is. This invasive parasite is rapidly destroying the local ecosystem. Let's find a better use for it as plant compost. Kobe, hey, if you like this video, hit that follow button. This is Heather, an estuary shrimp known as Eupogebia pugitensis. Today we're removing a blood-sucking parasite from Heather's gills. This will give Heather the ability to reproduce and live a happy life. Turn the parasite into plant compost and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. A giant parasite was attached to Pickle's gills. I had to break out the big guns. The isopod was no match for the tweezers of life. Next, I removed a male parasite from the female, then something crawled off the male parasite. This planet's crazy. Be sure to follow and check out the camera I use in this link. Hiya! Shrimp, you know who deserves hype? 
Shrimp deserve hype. They're being attacked by invasive parasites. Yeet. Like and follow to help us raise awareness for the ocean. I'm so glad everyone's enjoying the shrimp parasite removal videos. If you want to see more, as well as brand new compilations, then go find me on YouTube by clicking the little play button in my bio. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Martha dump truck in the flesh, more like invasive parasite in the flesh. Dang dang. Sorry Heather, be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. Shrimp! Check. Parasite? Check. Gotta lift the gill flap. I'm not hurting the shrimp here, we're just raising the gill flap to pull out this invasive parasite. You're a good shrimp. Wait. Go! Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if I put this in the water. If you wanna see too, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is Bubbles. Bubbles is one of the millions of shrimp that are affected by the Ortheon griffinus isopod parasite. Today we're taking this parasite out of Bubbles so that she can live a happy life. And as you can see on the top, there's another parasite. That's the male. And you can actually take it off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Look, you can see here, it's two separate parasites. That's disgusting. I'm sending this back to where it belongs. Maybe they can figure out what to do with it, because we can't find a solution here. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow for more Ocean Life. I call this slurping. It helps me to find shrimp like Susan. Susan has a bulging parasite devouring her gills. This thing was humongous. Not today, parasite. Yee! Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. As I entered the muddy hole, I felt the crusty claws of Maria. Just like her sister shrimp, she was infected with the invasive parasite that's causing Maria's species to go extinct. I set Maria free, and since the parasites aren't harmful to sea chickens, I made a very special donation to Edward. Be sure to follow if you love ocean animals. I was really surprised when I found Brittany the shrimp because she had a soft shell clam attached to her flippers. I quickly and carefully removed the clam and then I took out the invasive parasite that was sucking her blood. Like and follow if you would save Brittany.